guys, it's King Tuts Pro. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's video, I want to show you this super cool kind of, um, I don't know what you'd call this, like a moving background mask effect. And you can easily do this in Final Cut Pro 10. And the cool thing is that we aren't going to be using any presets or plugins at all in this video. So if I push play, we're going to be creating something that looks like this. Just make sure you're updated on the newest version because if you're not, it's not going to work. Um, as long as you're on Ventura, this should work. Okay, so here's the original clips. So we have the first scene, which is just kind of this one. And then it's going to transition onto the second clip. And what I want to do is pretty much cut him out from the background so that we can make the background spin around. What I'm going to do is go the timeline and just go to the end where the third scene appears. I'm going to just split the clip there. So command B and then I'm going to select the second clip. So with the middle clip selected, if I push play, it's going to be like a second and a half long. So just keep it less than three seconds for the effect. So something like this would be perfect. And we're going to right click on the video and go to new compound clip to group or to make the video act as a grouped clip. So we're going to do that by just naming this four, I guess, and press enter or OK, then double click on the clip. And this will then separate it from the timeline. So you can only export this specific video. So we're going to go over to file at the top and go down to share and you're going to go to export file or default to settings. Make sure the format is set to computer under publishing and then the video codec. We're going to set that to H.264 better quality 3840 by 2160, which is 4K. Give it a name and click next. I'm going to save this to my desktop and click save. So this will then export the video to my desktop. So go to where you save the video, which is going to be this one. It's called before MP4. If I just press space, it's going to look something like this. We're going to install an app called GIF Looper. So if I go into my applications and we go to GIF Looper, here it is. You can find this on the App Store on the Mac. So if we open up the App Store here, this should be 100% free not sponsored at all. So just FYI. So here it is, Give Looper. You want to go ahead and install this. It's free. Yeah. So go ahead and just open this up. You might need to give permissions the first time you install this. So just do that and then click movie file here. And then we're going to go to the desktop or wherever you save that short clip. Here it is. Click on open and this will import the clip. So what we're doing is we're pretty much converting the video to a GIF that we will create frames in between that we can use to remove the background, which is, I think, kind of genius in my opinion. So I'm going to go to the end as far as we can. Just drag the slider to the end and then move it a little bit to the left so you can see this blue trim button. Click trim and then make sure you have the video size set to the same original size that you saved it to. So the FPS or the frames per second is going to be whatever you have saved in the project in Final Cut Pro. So in this case, it's 23.98. So we're we're going to round this to 24. Like if you film this in 60, the max you can go is 50. Filmed in like 30 frames per second, just do 30. I'm going to do 24. Count loops, we're going to do indefinitely. Loop delay is new. Uh, we're going to set that to no delay. Turn all of these off and then click on create. This will go ahead and create that video as a GIF. So now it's going to open up or it should open up a window. Uh, if it doesn't, just go to movies. And there should be a folder named com.osbytes.gif looper. So open up this folder and then it should be in here. So if I press the space bar, it's going to preview our result, which is exactly what we want. Now we're going to double click on that GIF, then go to, and this all seems like, like it's taken forever. Once you guys get the handle of doing this over and over again, it's going to save you significant amount of time. So I'm going to go over to the first clip here or the first frame and hold shift and then just go to the very bottom, which is going to be number 29. And then I'm going to go over to tools at the top. And then this is where the magic happens. If you go down, you're going to see a remove background button. This should appear if it detects a, a subject, a face or anything like that. So we're going to go ahead and click on this and you're going to see the magic kind of happening. I'm not doing anything at all. And what it's going to do is it's going to go through every single frame. And it's going to remove the background of each frame, which is pretty cool. So now if I go down, you're going to see it's removing all of it. And you can create really cool memes with this too. <laughs> we're going to go over to file and then we're going to go to rename because I want to rename this to after instead of before. Press enter and then press command S to save the file. And if you get the spinning beach ball, just let it do its thing. So now if we go back to the original folder where it saved it to, so the com.osbytes.gif looper, open that folder up. It should be in your movies folder. So we renamed it to after. If I just preview this, you're going to see it cut out the background for every frame. I'm going to drag the GIF into Final Cut. Just click and drag. I don't know if it's just the video that I added or maybe I changed something, but it, it's not going to be 100% perfect. So we have the GIF clip placed above our original clip and then here's our original video. So what we're going to do is make the bottom clip spin. So we're going to make another copy. So hold Option and just drag upwards. 
and then go over to the effects, go to blur, and then go to the radial blur and just drag that onto that clip there. And then I'm gonna go to the beginning, go over to the inspector tab, and then the amount, we're gonna bring this, I mean, we can increase it to like 34 and then go to scale and then bring this down. So now if we enable the GIF that we just um, cut out, you're gonna see we don't have to do any masking whatsoever, which is really cool. We're gonna select the middle clip, which is this one here, and we're gonna reset the scale because I just wanted to show you guys how it looks like. So go to transform, add a keyframe over here, and then drag the playhead to maybe, you can go in the middle or all the way to the end. It doesn't really matter, but and we're gonna type in for rotation, we're gonna type in 360, press enter. Now, if we go back, it's going to spin. And if you see this kind of harsh edge, you can easily fix that. You can go to effects, and then masks and then if you add a shape mask you can do that and then increase the feather outwards like that so you can kind of get rid of that harsh line so now if i go back and i push play it'll look just like that it's like the middle clip we're going to start this off and add a keyframe to around 18. we're going to go about halfway where it's going to increase the radial blur and then we're going to go to the very end go about one frame to the left and then bring the amount to zero. So now it's going to kind of gradually fade off. All right, and if I go back and push play, it's a look something like this. Now it's spinning the other way around. So I'm gonna go back here and just change the amount from 360 and just type in negative 360. So now it spins the other way, so. And then there's one last thing that I wanna show you guys to really spice up this effect. And that's gonna be one of the overlays that you guys can add to your music videos. So you don't have to add this, this is totally optional. So if you guys head on over to kingtutspro.com, website link is in the description. You guys click on enter, it will take you to the website here. We're gonna be presented with this and you guys can go through all of the packs. So it is on sale right now. Just go into the second page, a couple of more as well. And you can kind of preview each one if you want to kind of see See what it does and again i'll provide this down in the description so you guys can quickly access that and that's going to be the film real scribble 4k just drag that again onto your clip and then just change the blend mode to screen and then the effect is done in fact should look something like this and again you can do you know something a little bit better for the ending but i wanted to show you guys what it could look like once you guys try this effect out and again, you don't have to use the same clip beneath. But this is without using any presets or plugins. So let me know what you think of this effect. And if you guys like the more frequent uploads, let me know down in the comments. But I'll catch you uh, next time.